All right, Brian, we'll talk to you soon. In the meantime, many seniors, of course, need some help caring for their homes, and hospitality workers need help bringing home a paycheck during this pandemic. Well, now a new program is working to fill both of those needs. And 2 News reporter Aliyah Williamson has what's working in Dayton. Across the country, two out of every three restaurant workers are unemployed due to COVID. Now here in Dayton, they'll be able to pivot their customer service skills to help care for local seniors. The Area Agency on Aging is calling it a win-win situation. After more than 40 years in the hospitality industry, Rick Bush became a caretaker at Home Instead Senior Care in Dayton. I had no clue how, much, how wonderful it was going to be to take care of seniors. He says his years of working at the Daytonian Hotel and a private club prepared him for his latest career. You know, you've already got the background of handling people and being with people all the time. It's just a little different. He usually didn't change their diapers when they were at the bar. Kathy Stevens, tasked with finding a creative solution for the shortage of caretakers, thought the link between good caretakers and good hospitality workers would be key. You know, you really want people that you know, have good customer service skills, you know, that are warm and friendly. And the hashtag Ohio Strong PCA training program is looking for at least 100 new caretakers. Applicants will get training for a few weeks. The four to six hundred dollar fees waived. Help them get over that barrier of paying for training so that they can do the work. Then they'll have a job fair to get these newly trained professionals back to work. It helps the older older adult in their home that needs somebody to come in and get groceries for them and you know perhaps help them bathe and get dressed and cook meals and this is something you can work with and make some good money the first training starts later this month but they are still accepting applications for more information on how you can apply visit wdtn.com click on as seen on two news in dayton aliyah williamson two news working for you